Good day YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick find comparison video between Linux Mint 21 on the left hand side here versus Fedora 36 on the right hand side here. Now I will say uh, they are actually both based on XFCE. The uh, Sorry, they both use the XFCE desktop environment is more correct way to put it there. But uh, Linux Mint 21 is actually based on uh, Ubuntu whereas Fedora is more like the upstream for uh, what is to become Red Hat Enterprise Linux there. Now, before I go any further, because I don't want to use too much RAM, we'll have a look at the RAM usage on boot up. These are just estimates, or take it with a grain of salt. But you can see here, Linux Mint is currently running on about 560 megabytes of RAM on boot up, whereas Fedora uh, 36 is running on about 523 megabytes of RAM on boot up, so slightly less, and I think we'll see why soon. So I'll just minimize both of these firstly there and we'll have a look at the start menus for each of them. So instantly you can see that Fedora 36 is using more of a stock standard or more of a basic version. You don't actually have a, a search option to search for your apps. You have to scroll down or look for them, so to speak. On the left hand side for Linux Mint, it's a little bit nicer. So you can actually type in the app that you want and find it there. So both have categorizations, but the most important thing is the search option, which unfortunately Fedora 36, the XFCE spin just does not want to include there for whatever reason. Uh, if we were to, I, I do enjoy the dark mode though, and I don't like the light mode for Linux Mint. But otherwise with Linux Mint, you can see what they've done is customize the look and feel to have green icons, a Linux Mint background, a Linux Mint uh, start menu icon, and a dark gray down the bottom uh, Linux Mint taskbar too. So it looks like the, it's a, uh, the default Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon Edition. So they try to keep it as similar as they can, but albeit a little bit more lightweight. Whereas XFCE, they've just added the packages to allow a, pretty much a stock standard XFCE desktop environment there. And you got this very uh, non-imaginative, what do they even call this one? Properties, let's see. The, uh, the dock down the bottom there. Could be docky, could be genie, I'm not sure but it's, it's just not very pretty. It takes up extra screen real estate as well. I've never really been a fan of that one there. Let's have a bit of a right click. And we'll look at the, so you've got the same basic options there, as you can see, a little bit more modern, modernized with the icon sets for Linux Mint. So I do enjoy that there as well. We'll go to the file manager for each of these. Now these will be technically pretty much the same in terms of the version in and the type. So Thuna, Thuna, maybe I need to do an update on one of these, but roughly exactly the same. And uh, we can see we've got the, uh, the the blue icon set, which seems to be uh, a bit of a blue look and feel for Fedora, so they've kept the default blue icon sets. But uh, as mentioned, it ties in with its actual name and theme of the green icons there, which is really nice to see. All I like to do though is right click and open up a terminal. That keeps me happy, but you can create folders and documents for each of them there, which is nice to see there too. All right, let's go to the uh, the back end and have a bit of a look here, see what's going on there. So we'll start off with the, uh, the kernel. So we are using the 5.15 kernel for Linux Mint 21, which is not the latest, but it's good to see there. Whereas Fedora, it's more of a, they say bleeding edge. There are more bleeding edge versions of the kernel used on Arc Linux distros, but 5.18 is really good in terms of supporting later hardware. So that's, yeah, really, really nice to see there. Next up, we'll have a look at the, uh, the software manager, see if these are the same or similar. They should be pretty similar there. Now here's the problem again with Fedora 36. I've got to look around for it. I can't actually find it uh, by searching for it. Like if I type in the following software manager, uh, like fingers crossed that this will work. <laughs> oh, so uh, here we go. So I guess I search for it this way. So it is kind of like an application finder. It's not as easy. It's not as user friendly there. Um, application finder, default applications, no, manager. Maybe it's just not included. Nope. That is a damn shame, especially during a live video. It should be in the system section though, so maybe I missed it. Nope. Let's go to settings though. Damn. They got a lot of things. Now, you can install it, 
and it's gonna look pretty much the same. It's gonna be the same basic software manager there. But I'm I'm just a little bit upset that I that I can't actually locate it here at the moment. Uh, I'll just do one last check, but I don't want to waste too much time on this video here today. Uh, no, okay. So that's a bit of a shame. So Fedora 36 XFC edition, not very easy to use. Not user friendly. Searching for things, not very user friendly for adding installing things unless you go by the terminal, which I tend to do anyway. But I know a lot of people out there like a GUI like this to to make things work and, and find things. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.